Rice is one of those foods that is so loved by so many different cultures around the world. It's a budget-friendly ingredient for easy, delicious meals. Chef and host of Clio TV's Just Eats, JJ Johnson. He's written a, a book all about the versatile grain called The Simple Art of Rice, which has eluded me. It is not so simple, JJ. Yes, it is. So we are going to, to solve, we're going to crack the rice code right now. Here we go. Start with your okay, number one tip. So it's easy. And the reason why it hasn't been is because you haven't had the book, The Simple Art of Rice, <laughs> to make your life easier. So look, I'm gonna show you how to measure rice. Okay. You always wash your rice. Okay. okay. So, so to rinse or not to rinse, you rinse. You rinse. My okay. grandmother told me to rinse. I think all the grandmothers in the world rinse rice, you rinse. Okay. So pour your rice in this pot so here. So this is rinsed rice. Yes. Pour right in, take okay. your spatula, okay, flatten it out. So, so your deal is, because we were cheating, uh, we were talking in the break, you say no matter wh how much rice you put in it, you want to flatten it out. Yes. And then, doesn't matter if you're doing a cup, two cups, three cups of rice, this is the important part. This is important part, but the most important part is the pot. So remember, rice doubles in size. Yes. So if you have too small of a pot with too much rice, it's going to boil over the top. Yep. Or vice versa. Then you're going to put your... Third finger, third finger, right on top of the rice, right on top of the and rice. And you're gonna pour your liquid. With this is water. Oh, mine is on the bottom of the rice. Don't I put worry, it on the top don't worry. Of the rice. Put it on top. Okay. And when slow, it gets slow, up to slow. my knuckle, when it gets right to your knuckle, that's it. Now it doesn't matter if your hand is bigger than mine think, or maybe your anymore. husband's. I'm telling you to work every time. All right, I think I got it. All right, so look. This is every night. Okay. Right here. Marinated shrimp right out of the book. I'm so yeah. excited to make some this. Parsley. It's coming, Rick. It's coming. Yeah. <laughs> some chives. Okay. Some lemon zest. So should everybody invest in one of these? Everybody should have a food processor. Okay. It will help you out. Salt. That's what's been missing. Oh. What, in your cooking? Yes. No, look, a little oil and then lemon juice. All and right. then you'll get this beautiful marinade here. Okay, and we're gonna have this recipe for, for me and you. For you for and everybody us. out there. And then you just marinate your shrimp really nice. Okay. And look. Get you, good, co good coverage. Good coverage. You can't over marinate. Can never over marinate. And how long do you let it sit? I let this sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. Okay. But if you're like a pre-planner where you are heads of days ahead, yeah. you can put this in your fridge the night before. It will absorb all that flavor. Okay, because sometimes like chicken you can over marinate. Yeah, no. Okay. This now, and then you just put it right on your grill pan. I mean, so far I got this. And let so it far sizzle, I'm right? Very confident. And the great thing about shrimp, I call it six minutes. It takes six minutes to cook on a really nice hot pan. Okay. Three minutes on each side, and you'll see it gets beautifully cooked here. I, I know your cast iron pan has has the grill marks. Yes. Do we need to get one of those? You do because you. you I want summer all the time. Okay. All right. And when I get a grill right. pan, that's what it tells me. Making a shopping list, JJ. <laughs> um, so. Now, you know that perfect pot of rice. Yes. I want to get back to that yes, right here. Yes, because right uh -oh. now it's pretend cooking. Imagine yeah. it's cooking. How long does it cook? Oh, it takes 23 minutes. 23 minutes. I and want to know the tip. Yes, because I touch too much. You, you, uh. can't, you can't touch the pot. You can't shake the pot. Okay. But the number one thing is you don't put salt in your rice until it's done. Oh. Okay. So many mistakes so when you put coming the salt, to light. When you put the salt in the rice, it takes the rice longer to cook. Oh, man. Oh. So, look, and then you get this beautiful pot of rice. And do you have a rice grain that you like best? Oh, I love Carolina gold rice. I love Boutonnese red rice. I love black. Listen, in the Simple Art of Rice, I list 30 different rice grains that you and, can add to your pantry. And they all have different cooking times, correct? They all have different cooking times, oh. but nothing's going to take you longer than 33 minutes. Okay. And the great thing about this is, look, I fluff my rice okay, like pearls, nice. right? It should look like pearls. Yeah. yeah. You add in the salt. How's that taste, everybody? So delicious. Good. I mean, I've never it tasted like my girl perfect, so quiet. Nice and quiet. Mm -hmm. and perfect then, rice. And then this is how you add the flavor. So I know everybody out there saying rice has no flavor, but you can add so much flavor. Yeah, like because fresh you don't herbs. always use all the rice you make, too. And you have a really good idea for a leftover rice to oh, take yes. it to the next level. Rice salad. So this is a really rice salad. Some raisins, that. some almonds, yeah. some lemon juice, olive oil. That's the rice that's been in your fridge. You yeah. just fluff it up. And that's the great thing about the simple art of rice is that it gives you so many things to do. You can take rice and make it like oatmeal. You can make rice to have your breakfast the I next day, your dinner. Rice. It's really a perfect it's food, a, isn't it? It is. It's the foundation of the table. I call it the Swiss Army knife. You can do yeah. so many things mm -hmm. with it. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, jump in there. Go, go ahead. I still have business to do. I'm go cooking, ahead. I'm ricing, so, and I got to talk to you guys. All right, so listen, if you want this recipe, and you do, JJ's work is so great. Just right. scan the QR code on the screen to get his recipes. Also, goodmorningamerica.com. His new cookbook comes out tomorrow. JJ, thank you. Thank you very much. Very excited about this.
hey there GMA fans Robin Roberts here thanks for checking out our YouTube channel lots of great stuff here so go on click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day anytime we thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA